Hi everyone, welcome back and happy new year. My name is Andrea and in this demo, I'm going to be going over Canvas apps. We'll go through how to create a Canvas app from your solution, how to use the designer, how to add a label, a form, and a submit button. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more Power Apps demos. The first thing you want to do if you're new to my channel is ensure you have your tenant ready. And if you don't, watch my first video on how to create a developer subscription for Power Apps. This is a free trial that you can continue to use as long as you keep developing. Once you have that set up, travel to make.powerapps.com and navigate to the solution where you intend to keep this app. For this, I'm going to select the trip planner solution that I've created for these demo videos. Then you're going to go to the top left hand side, click on new, app, canvas app, and tablet. Once you've signed in, you'll get this message right here. We're going to click skip, get started. This is what the designer portion of your Canvas app will look like. On the left hand side is where you will find your tree view. This is where you have your screens, your galleries, your images, text, buttons. This all lives here. You will also have the insert tab where popular things live. For example, adding a text label or a form below that is the data. You can add data directly from your current environment here. Below that is the media. You can upload images, videos, audio files to your application. Then finally, your advanced tools. On the right, you have your properties for your different components. Say you want to change the background image for your screen. You can do this here. Or you want to change the data for your gallery. You can do this here too. The top of the page is your toolbar. This will look familiar if you've used Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. You can add the same kinds of things I talked about on the left-hand side. For example, buttons, text, charts, and new screens. You have the home button, the, the insert button, the view, and the action button in the tabs. The first thing we're going to do is something very simple. We're going to just add a label. So we're going to click label. And we're going to adjust this at the top of the page. And just like that, we can drag it. We can change the text. Change it to trip planner. If you want to make the size bigger, we can do this here on the right. We can make it bold. And if we want to change the background color, we can go down here, change the background color to maybe orange. And if you see there, I clicked out of it and the properties for it goes away. So I have to click inside. Go back here, maybe change the font, and change the label to title. Maybe center this. And now say we want to add a form. We want to add a form for a new trip. So we've already created a form inside of uh, Dataverse. So we're going to search for the entity trips. You're going to click that. And now it's in our app. Then we're going to go back up to insert and select edit form and then connect to data. And then on the right hand side, you're going to see data source. You're going to select that none drop down and select trips. We're going to drag this down to the center. And it looks like we don't have all of our fields right here. So we're going to click on edit fields, add field. And we're going to add all the fields that we're missing from here. Once you finish selecting, you're going to click add and they will populate here in the fields. You can rearrange these to your liking by dragging and dropping. Once you have them in the order of your choosing, you're going to exit out and you'll see them populate into this form. To test this, you're going to want to set the default mode to new and select this play button. Then you can input any data here. And see it work. You can even add a trip image by clicking here and this will pop up your documents. But this form is missing a submit button. So let's go ahead and add that. Click on the X. 
You can either add a button by selecting the Insert tab and hitting Button, or the Insert tab on the left and hitting Button. A button will appear. You can place this anywhere on the screen. I'm just going to put it at the bottom. And we're going to change the name to Submit. And then on this drop down here, you're going to select On Select, and you're going to type Submit Form, and then in parentheses, it uses IntelliSense to know which form you're going to want to be using based on the page that you're on. We're going to select Form 1 because this is Form 1. And you're just going to close that and add a semicolon. Now let's see what happens when we actually submit this form. So we're going to hit Play. We have all of our data in here. Click Submit. And we get no items to display. The form goes away, but the submit button is still here. We get the screen because we still don't have a success screen. I'll go over how to build a success screen and adding an item list gallery in my next video. But if we go back to the trip planner solution inside of Power Apps and into the trip table, and we go down to the data tab, we'll see that mountains has been added to the back end. So our form works and is communicating to the back end. So make sure to subscribe so you can follow along on my next video where I'll go over how to add a success screen and how to add a list view so the user can see all of the trips. Bye everyone.